Hi guys, happy Monday. Welcome back. My name is Maggie and thanks for joining me today. Today I have a collective haul. I have a few things from Hobby Lobby, Dollar Tree, Amazon, Etsy, and I did do a little bit of thrifting. Um, so this is all kind of within the past, maybe a couple weeks. And I thought I'd go ahead and share what I have now. This is gonna be my second go around trying to film this because I was expecting something to add to my haul today and I wasn't expecting it till later and it actually came right in the middle <laughs> of me filming the first time. So here's round two. So let me show you what I have from um, Hobby Lobby. So I got the brayer. I found this uh, brayer at Hobby Lobby. I believe it was over by close to where like the Tim Holtz stuff is. And I've been wanting one and I thought of maybe ordering one from Amazon, but it came out to be pretty much the same price. It was $6.49 and this one says it's a rubber brayer roller, four inches. And so I just went ahead and grabbed it, you know, for convenience because I already, I was already there. And so I went ahead and I grabbed that. I've seen a few videos on how people use these. And so I'm curious to try to work with one and see how that works. I also bought this. Um, this is another something that I needed for a project that I have in mind. And this is just double-sided foam tape. And this was $1.29. This is a quarter inch and it gives you five yards. So it's pretty thin, but it's exactly what I need for what I'm thinking that I'm, I'm going to be doing soon. This is a repurchase for me. These are the mini paper dolls. You get 133 pieces. Uh, price was $7.99. Now this is a major staple in my stash. I have to always have this stocked up. So if you're new to junk journaling and to Tim Holtz, this is one of the must-haves that you need, the paper dolls. Be the mini, the singles, or the groups. Um, the singles and groups are bigger, but the minis, they fit on everything. So I like to put these on my tags, on my labels, on, um, on what else? Tickets, you can put them on everything because they're so small. And so here, I love it because you do get a variety. So you get the groups in here. You get kids, you do get singles here. And so I absolutely love them. These are definitely one of my favorites. See, there are the singles, there's the pair. And then here's another couple. Here's a group shot. Here's more. So for 133 pieces, this actually lasts a pretty, a pretty good amount of time for me. Um, but I think this is maybe my third time. I'm I'm running pretty low, and so since I was there, I went ahead and grabbed that. So let me see if I can kind of stash this off to the side without getting them everywhere. Then, like I said, I had already opened up a few of these. So this was in the his and hers section, and I found these, um, the wedding section, their favor bags. A 10 count. They were originally $9.99. I got them for $2.49. And they're 4x5 um, inch burlap uh, little baggies. I like to use these whenever I have like maybe a Happy Meal or something. I love to put them like in little um, fun little bags. And so I thought these might be cute. Doesn't that look cute? I love that. So I got those. Also in the clearance. I got this and this was, did I throw that away? No, I didn't, it's right here. This is called a grass mat. It was $4.99, I got it for $1.24. And this is where they have like all of the miniature um, trees and all of that stuff. It's not where the doll stuff is. It's like where the hobby section is. And so I got this for $1.24. Now, if you remember, if you've been watching, I, um, I've been talking about doing a junk journal, uh, kind of giving you step-by-step step on how I'm making mine. Everybody makes them differently, um, but just the process of the one that I had been asked to make, um, I was gonna bring you along for the ride. And this is just something, it's more of a, 
like a very uh, nature themed um, specimen type of, of journal. And so when I found this, I thought that this might be fun to maybe add to either the um, cover or something. And this is like, it looks like, it kind of looks like cork, but it's not. It's just like craft paper, but it has like this velvety texture on top and it's supposed to be grass. I wish it was a little bit more green, but that's still okay. So I just thought that that might be fun to maybe use. Then um, let's see. Also in the clearance is this. This is just um, duct tape, I guess. And it was $1.49, so it was half off. But I just thought it was cute. I like to do, I like to use this kind of tape whenever I'm sending packages back home. Um, I'm originally from LA, the LA area in California. And so all my family's out there. And so whenever I send little packages and things, I like to use fun tape like that. So that's why I got that. Um, I went into the Zoology and I got these. I've been wanting the little magnet snaps because I just thought that they would be fun maybe as closures if you wanted to use maybe a piece of fabric or something to use as a closure on a journal or a project. I just thought that these might be fun. And so I got two different sizes. They were both $1.99. And this one is black nickel in the 5 eighths of an inch. Um, and it has two sets. And so you can either sew it or I think you might be able to glue it down, but it is a little bit raised on the bottom. So I think if anything, I might just use it to sew it shut. And so you get the antique gold in the three quarters of an inch as well for $1.99. So I got those. I also went and um, to the paper studio section and I found these. Now these are new to me. I don't remember seeing this shade of wood in these little paper clips or the um, what clothespins. And so this is more of a medium size. I think they have a little bit larger, but there's this and I just loved the color of these. These, I believe you get 30, 30 pieces. Original price, original price, excuse me, was $2.99. But when I went last week, they were 40% off. So I got those. I also found them in the smaller size. So the bigger size is a uh, quarter of an inch by 1.375 of an inch. That's the size of those. And these smaller ones are one inch by 0.125 inches. And this one you get 20 of the smaller ones for $1.99. And I also found them in black. So again, these are new to me. I don't remember seeing the um, more of that rustic brown and then the black. So I, I just thought that these might be fun to maybe add onto maybe the top of a page on a journal or something. So I just thought that those would be fun. I also found these. I like to go into my uh, planner and it's just a, a planner that I found from, I believe it was Target. And I like to decorate my planner um, for every day that I'm using it. And so I like to use the uh, just flower stickers. And so I found this one. This one has eight pages and it has 171 pieces. And this is called the Pressed Floral. And again, it was 40% off of the $4.99. So let me just show you. And they are the clear stickers. Look at how pretty those are. I love, I love this look of, of the, um, I feel like they're like wildflowers. I just love those. Those are so pretty. Then you get some leaves, some more of the florals. They're gorgeous. I absolutely love these. Isn't that pretty? So there was that one. I feel like I still feel the, um, that grass mat. And then there was this one. This is called The Wildflower by Agenda 52. Again, it was 40% off the $8.99. This one has 30 sheets, 1,406 pieces. And so this I absolutely love. Look how pretty this, and you get two pages of each. So I love all of the different shapes of these. 
because they're going to be perfect for when I want to, you know, decorate just maybe like one side of my planner page. And so here you get bouquets and the vases with the butterflies. And then look at these. This looks like wall art, right? I love this with the little um, shelf, the wall um, framed art here, the little, oh my gosh, I just absolutely love that. Aren't they beautiful? Love that. So again, two pages of each. Then you have these. And then these borders, aren't they gorgeous? I love it. I love it. I think I might have to go back and get another one when the paper studio is on sale again. Then you have the strips. And then these. So you get brunch, date night, goals, appointment, reminder, day off. I had mentioned this in the when, my first go around that I never use the day off stickers because I never get a day off. <laughs> As a wife, a mother, and you know, helping my husband run his business and then doing this with the um, the YouTube, no days off for me. But I love my life, so there's really, I really can't complain. But look how pretty these are. I absolutely love it. I love how muted the colors are. They're not too bright. Today's errands, those are the first stickers to go. Those are the first that go on my planner. And then you get these, and these are all little circle. These are all little round stickers. And then you get the plain ones. Very cute, I love it. I might have to go back and get another one because this is beautiful. And the last thing I think that I got from Hobby Lobby was this. Isn't that cute? You know, the little patches, I forget what brand it is, but this is kind of a dupe to that, I guess. And this is um, Iron Orchid Studio. It was $3.99 and it's just a little keychain to go on my keys. So I thought that that was fun because um, the vehicle that I drive is white. And so my, my daughter's like, mom, get that one. It'll, it'll, um, it'll match your car. So I'm like, okay. So I love it. I absolutely love it. It's so pretty. Okay, so there's that. Now let's go into... Um, Dollar Tree. I found some stamps. I saw this one last time. I never got it, but I thought, let's go ahead and get it. I just thought it was really cute because I thought it might go well um, once I decide. I'm still collecting things, but once I decide to do a sewing journal, I just thought that this might be fun. So this has a lot of pretty little feminine things on it. The lace on this one, the shoe, the dress. Very cute. So there's that one. And then I got this with the alphabet, the lowercase, but the size is awesome, right? I love the, the numbers. I think those are gonna be a perfect size for labels and tickets and things. So got that one. And then this one. First, I love the images. I'm just curious to see how they're gonna stamp because of all the shading. But you get the little car, the typewriter, um, the alarm clock. I just thought that they're fun. I don't even know what that is. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Can you tell that one? I don't know. Is it just like a little blotch or something? Don't know, but either way, thought it was cute. So got that. And then I found these. These are just book rings, but these are a smaller size. I don't remember seeing this size before. These are one inch and you get 10 pieces by jot. So yeah, I just thought that these might be a good size if I wanted to do some type of little book or something that have the book rings as like maybe the binding on it. So I thought that might be fun. Also, I got these. These are just little, those wooden boxes. And I just love the size. I'm a sucker for boxes especially wooden ones so i thought because they're plain i can actually um maybe cover it up with some of the the tim holtz collage paper so i thought that might be a fun project so i got this one i think i might try to maybe ink up a little bit of the gold um hinges and this little um closure because it's too bright for my taste but i did get two 
it looks like they're they may they might not be the same size this one looks a little bit bigger because this one has like more of a rounded edge here but there's those and then i went into their um, acrylic organizing section and i bought two more of these and i've hauled these before um you know i if you've seen my craft space tour um, right in front of me on my desk, I have a whole, my whole wall is full of acrylic drawers that I get from either Marshalls, um, where else? Marshalls, uh, TJ Maxx, and Home Goods. That's my go-to when I need those. But um, there, there are places that I can add like little ones like this, just like one or two here and there. And so I like to get these and they are stackable. So I got two for a little nook in my corner to um, add more storage because can you ever have enough enough storage so i got two more of those for a dollar 25 you can't beat it i also got this i did end up purchasing after my video of the tour i ended up purchasing at ikea i believe they're called the alex uh drawer units and I bought two of those, and so they're white and they're gorgeous. I absolutely love them. If you saw my tour, I actually had those plastic drawers that you can get from either Target or Walmart. And I decided that I wanted to upgrade and treat myself, and so I ended up getting those. And now I need like little um, organization things to go in the drawers. And so I found this one. It has the three compartments with the lid. So I thought this was good. I wanted to try this out. And I also got one of these. Again, it's just a bigger, but th with the three compartments. It doesn't have a lid. It's just open like that. But I just thought that this might be good. So I'm going to try these out and see how they work. And if I need more, then I can go back. But there is that. Now, let me go in with um, Amazon. I ended up finding this. <clears throat> and now my Amazon items, I will be able to link down below. And also the things that I got from um etsy yeah um i'll try to link those down below as well so this um it kind of i'm not sure what it's supposed to be maybe like a little tag or something but it's got kind of like that little ring on the top and so i just thought that this might be really fun to play with and so these have the actual shape how cute this bag it's like like reusable i love that and so it has, let me show you, let me take out the, the top one. I just kind of twist these off. So you can see here, see it has the actual frame and then it has maybe if you wanted to put like another color paper on the inside or something. And so they have each, each size has the two pieces. But see, look at how cute that is. I love that. And so I want to play around with these and see how these are going to look. But this one has the four sizes, and so I thought that this might be fun. And so actually, I was looking for this. I found this when, and I've, I've actually had this sitting in my corner for a minute. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, but I, was, I found this when I was looking for um, something to kind of resemble the little pocket watch until tim holtz came out with his vault version and so you know your girl had to get it i'm going to show you in a minute but there's this one and i just thought that this was a cute alternative to that so i got that and then because i'm doing the journal that has like i'm doing more of the nature kind of specimen type of thing to it um i found not i found but i ended up ordering the um Sizzix, um what is it? This is the entomology set because I have his stamps. And so I just thought that um, it would be good to have the um, the dyes to go with it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have a frog in my throat that's literally trying to come out and I can't get rid of it. So I'm so sorry. <laughs> it might be too much information, but my goodness. So yeah, um, I ended up getting this for that project and I thought that it, this is just going to be a good thing to add to my stash anyway. So I got that. I also got um, this. This is just a smaller version of one of the packs that I used for um, one of my sister's... Um, I, think I, put, I think I named it art and nature themed junk journals. 
and I got the 12 by 12 of this. I just want to use a couple of the images because the journal that I'm making also, um, the person also loves the Klimt um, artist. And so I wanted to just add a couple little things. And so that's why I got this eight by eight pack. And it's, it's actually very, very pretty. Let me show you. This is also um, my sister's favorite artist. And she's an artist herself. I mean, she's amazing. She ends up getting um, contracted by people, by companies, um, even cities to do murals. So that's how good she is. But she loves uh, Klimt. And I actually used this as her whole theme to her journal. But I did want to use like maybe little images here and there um, for um, the other journal that I'm doing. So this is not the whole theme. I just wanted to use little bits and pieces of it. But it's absolutely gorgeous. And this is from Stamperia. So I just thought, see, it's got like little nature pieces in here. And so I just thought that this might be, you know, good to kind of add just a couple little touches to it. So got that. And then if you see Louisa Heinzel, she is, first of all, amazing. And she swears by this grit paste crypt. She uses it a lot and her her projects look so cool i mean like so cool if you haven't seen her you need to you need to look her up um louisa heinzel and when she was i mean i see her take this stuff out all the time and i kept saying i want to use it i want some and so i bit the bullet and i bought some look at that it's literally grit paste and it's called crypt i think it's part of maybe if i'm not mistaken um the halloween um supplies that that tim holtz has but um either way i found it on amazon and i thought i have to give it a try i want to kind of you know maybe get the same results that she does she's major grunge rustic like i'm um, no like rusty not rustic rusty and I love what, what she makes and how it comes out. And so um, I wanted to try it out. So I bought me a little um, jar of the grit paste. So there's that. Um, before I go into my birthday, because this is just things that I was just kind of collecting. Before I go into my birthday um, purchases, let me show you what I found while I went thrifting. I did go back to the antique um, mall, the little antique store that has like a bunch of little, oh, I love that place. It, it's an antique, it's called an antique mall, but it every little booth section is owned by a different person. And so you go up and they just kind of tell you, okay, this is, you know, the person that you bought it from, their little um, corner, I guess. It's it's called something, I forget what it's called. It's not a, It's not a stand but their little section. And so I, I love walking through there just to kind of see. And whenever I have a free minute, I like to go in just to kind of walk around. But I ended up buying two more. I had two already and I bought two more of these. Um, a lot of you were telling me what a gem it was that I found. And so I went back and I actually had forgotten about them, but I went back and I ended up finding um, two more so I got them they were only three dollars and fifty cents each and a lot of you kind of told me little stories about you know how you would use them once they were full then um, you were able to get like appliances or things for the home um, kind of at trading because I guess once you purchase things from like the market or something you can add stamps to the book so once it's full then you can go in and order or um, purchase some home items and so i thought that that was just really neat stories and so i thought you know what let's just get a couple more there were three 350 each and so i thought it's called a vintage gold bond stamp book so there's that love these so now i have a total of four of those then i went to goodwill 
and I found this now just because it was Fiskars not that I really needed it <laughs> but it was only a dollar and so I thought you know what it might come in handy and it's brand new in the package and it's a swing arm protractor and so I just thought you know what let's just go ahead and get it for a dollar I don't know I'd have to check to see how much it's actually um, retail but there you have it. So a dollar for a Fiskars brand new swing arm protractor. So there's that. And then this is my treasure um, that I found. This is called, um, it's just a box. It's wood and it's chess and checkers. And I bought it for $4. And look at this, first of all, it kind of resembles maybe like a book. You see that? So it's got like this whole you know, spine of a book here. Isn't that neat? And I guess this was made in 2007, but look at this, look at how it opens this little book, the box. And so it's all wood pieces. And so you have your, um, your board. Isn't that neat? It's a little dirty. I got to clean it up, but for four bucks, and then look how cute these are. I thought that these might be fun to use, um, maybe using my little drill that I got from Timu. And look, they're brand new. These bags aren't even open. And so you get the dark brown pieces and then you get the um, natural wood pieces for chess. Isn't that neat? And then you have the little chips here. Or I guess um, checkers but it's it's brand new nobody's even used it so for four bucks there you go and so I just thought I can use these I can even use these and put maybe like a little hook a little eyelet hook pin um, and maybe sand this down a little bit and put like a little sticker or something on it or even um, collage with the collage paper, the tissue paper. So I can do a bunch of stuff with that. This, I don't know. You gotta, you kind of have to give me ideas on what to use for this. It's very thick. Maybe would I dare to maybe use it as a, as maybe a book, a journal cover. <laughs> you know, you just, you never know. It might be cool. It might be a little thick and heavy, but it might be fun. And then this, I actually want to see, I think this is a sticker. So I want to see if I can peel. Oh, wait, it's coming up. Yep, there it is. There it is. So now I can decorate this, but I think I want to sand it down. I, um, I'm not too keen on the, the color, but oh my gosh, love this. And so I just got to see if I can take this part of it and see if maybe I can sand it down or maybe paint it. I don't know. We'll see. But there's that. Now let's get into my birthday gift to myself. <laughs> I treated myself, you guys. So once Tim Holtz came up with his new, <clears throat> his new vault line, I got them. I don't think I got, did I get all of them? on this he did a video on them and oh my gosh i was i was obsessed i don't remember if in that video there was just the four i don't remember but anyway i got these this one is called the vault watch gears look how cool look how cool i saw everybody's um little uh projects and everything their makes that they did oh my gosh it was amazing did you see the one if you saw the video did you see the one that actually stood up on its own it was like their, their own little pocket watch it was beautiful i thought it was real but no it was somebody made it from this so i just thought that that was awesome so there's this one then i got this one and this one's called the vault boutique and so this one has the little um doily the crochet doily it has all of these different size butterflies. It has the little ribbon, the frame, these little pieces here. And then it has the, um, 
the what to do maybe like the 3d kind of rose the little rosette the little paper rosette so i thought that was super fun then i got this one this is called the vault world travel and so there's this love it love 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 it and then this one this one is the vault picture show so there's that and it has the little oh my gosh i used to have one of these what are they called the little viewfinder things and so you have these that come this these ones on the top they fit these little squares here these four on the bottom fit the strip here and then this one fits inside here genius right so i got those those are all the the sizzix thinlets so this one I actually had to order from stamps.com, stamp.com or stamps.com. Either way, I'll link it down below. And then these I ended up getting from a vendor on um, Etsy because I couldn't find anywhere where they had like everything that I wanted. So I got those and then his stamps, I just got these two. These are the only two that I thought I could really use. And this one is the paint by number awesome right and then this one is the curiosity shop so let me open this one because you can't see the whole thing on this but this one has the eight and the zero here at the top so the eight and the zero is here and so he mentioned that he didn't do nine because the six, you can turn it around to be the nine. And then the zero to do, you know, 10, 20, 30, whatever. And then you have the hat, the two hats, mustache. the um, And everything looks like it was sketched. These, um, the hands pointing left and right, love that. The four leaf clover. This one, he mentioned that it could be like a paper. You can add that to this stamp and then put one of the little sentiments on it, and then the two light bulbs. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. So that was my birthday gift to myself. Now this isn't something that I would normally do, but because it was a big birthday for me, I turned 50 um, last Thursday, and so I just really wanted to treat myself and this is what I ended up getting and I'm so excited. So we'll see what type of projects I could come up with to use those up. But that is my birthday haul. So much fun. So that's it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, all that jazz. And I will see you tomorrow, for sure tomorrow, for a Tag Tuesday. I have a tag um, that I'm going to be making with you guys tomorrow. So don't forget to tune in for that. And I'll see you then. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.